In phonetics, a flap or tap is a type of consonantal sound, which is produced with a single contraction of the muscles so that one articulator such as the tongue, is thrown against another. Contrast with stops and trills The main difference between a flap and a stop is that in a flap there is no buildup of air pressure behind the place of articulation and consequently no release burst. Otherwise a flap is similar to a brief stop. Flaps also contrast with trills, where the airstream causes the articulator to vibrate. Trills may be realized as a single contact, like a flap, but are variable, whereas a flap is limited to a single contact. When a trill is brief and made with a single contact it is sometimes erroneously described as an allophonic flap, but a true flap is an active articulation whereas a trill is a passive articulation. That is, for a tap or flap the tongue makes an active gesture to contact the target place of articulation, whereas with a trill the contact is due to the vibration caused by the airstream rather than any active movement. Tap versus flap Many linguists use the terms tap and flap indiscriminately. Peter Latifoged proposed for a while that it might be useful to distinguish between them. However, his usage was inconsistent and contradicted itself even between different editions of the same text. One proposed version of the distinction was that a tap strikes its point of contact directly, as a very brief stop, but a flap strikes the point of contact tangentially. Flaps are most typically made by retracting the tongue tip behind the alveolar ridge and moving it forward so that it strikes the ridge in passing." Later, however, he used the term flap in all cases. Subsequent work on the labiodental flap has clarified the issue. Flaps involve retraction of the active articulator, and a forward striking movement. For linguists who make the distinction, the alveolar tap is transcribed as a fish hook R and the flap can be transcribed as a small capital D, which is not recognized by the IPA. In IPA terms the retroflex flap, symbol captures the initial retraction and subsequent forward movement of the tongue tip involved. Otherwise, alveolars are typically called taps, and other articulations are called flaps. No language has been confirmed to contrast a tap and a flap at the same place of articulation. However, such a distinction has been claimed for Norwegian in which the alveolar apical tap and the postalveolar, retroflex apical flap have the same place of articulation for some speakers. <laughs> IPA symbols The flap and tap consonants identified by the International Phonetic Alphabet are the Kiel Convention of the IPA recommended that for other flaps, a homorganic consonant, such as a stop or trill, should be used with a brief diacritic. Tap or flaps, where no independent symbol for a tap is provided, the brief diacritic should be used, e.g. or n. However, the former could be mistaken for a short trill, and is more clearly transcribed, whereas for a nasal tap the unambiguous transcription is generally used. Types of flaps Most of the alternative transcriptions in parentheses imply a tap rather than flap articulation, so for example the flap and the tapped stop B are arguably distinct, as are flapped and tapped. <laughs> Alveolar flaps Spanish features a good illustration of an alveolar flap, contrasting it with a trill, puro, peo, but, versus pero, puro, dog. Among the Germanic languages, this allophone occurs in American and Australian English and in Northern Low Saxon. In American and Australian English it tends to be an allophone of intervocalic, t, as in, butter, later, fattest, and total. See intervocalic alveolar flapping. In a number of Low Saxon dialects it occurs as an allophone of intervocalic d, or t, e.g. baden, beden, bn to pray, to request, ga to betty. 
G A A T O U B to be go to bed water vader v water vader father fa father in some dialects this has resulted in reanalysis and a shift to r thus baron b r n to bear to beer war v r var far occurrence varies in some low saxon dialects it affects both t and d while in others it affects only d other languages with this are portuguese korean and austronesian languages with r in Galician, Portuguese and Sardinian, a flap often appears instead of a former L. This is part of a wider phenomenon called rhoticism. Topic: <inaudible> Retroflex flaps. Most Indic and Dravidian languages have retroflex flaps. In Hindi there are 3: a simple retroflex flap as in b, big, a murmured retroflex flap as in ko i, leper, and a retroflex nasal flap in the Hindicized pronunciation of Sanskrit mi, ruby. Some of these may be allophonic. A retroflex flap is also common in Norwegian dialects and some Swedish dialects. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> lateral flaps. Many of the languages of Africa, Asia, and the Pacific that don't distinguish r from l may have a lateral flap. However, it is also possible that many of these languages do not have a lateral central contrast at all, so that even a consistently neutral articulation may be perceived as sometimes lateral or l, sometimes central. This has been suggested to be the case for Japanese. For example, the Iwadia language of Australia has both alveolar and retroflex lateral flaps. These contrast with lateral approximants at the same positions, as well as a retroflex tap, alveolar tap, and retroflex approximant. However, the flapped, or tapped, laterals in Iwagya are distinct from lateral flaps as represented by the corresponding IPA symbols see below. These phones consist of a flap component followed by a lateral component, whereas in Iwagya the opposite is the case. For this reason, current IPA transcriptions of these sounds by linguists working on the language consist of an alveolar lateral followed by a superscript alveolar tap and a retroflex lateral followed by a superscript retroflex tap. A velar lateral flap may exist as an allophone in a few languages of New Guinea, according to Peter Ladifoged and Ian Maddison. Non-coronal flaps The only common non-coronal flap is the labiodental flap, found throughout Central Africa in languages such as Margi. In 2005, the IPA adopted a right hook V. For this sound, supported by some fonts, previously, it had been transcribed with the use of the brief diacritic, V, or other ad hoc symbols. Other flaps are much less common. They include an epiglottal flap, a bilabial flap in Banda, which may be an allophone of the labiodental flap, and a velar lateral flap as an allophone in Canite and Melpa. These are often transcribed with the brief diacritic, as W. Note here that, like a velar trill, a central velar flap or tap is not possible because the tongue and soft palate cannot move together easily enough to produce a sound. If other flaps are found, the brief diacritic could be used to represent them, but would more properly be combined with the symbol for the corresponding voiced stop. A palatal or uvular flap, which unlike a velar flap is believed to be articulatorily possible, could be represented this way by asterisk, tilde. <laughs> Nasal flaps Nasal consonants include flaps, although these are rarely phonemic. Many West African languages have a nasal flap or n as an allophone of before a nasal vowel. Pashto, however, has a phonemic nasal retroflex lateral flap. Topic: <laughs> Tapped fricatives. Voiced and voiceless tapped alveolar fricatives have been reported from a few languages. Flapped fricatives are possible but do not seem to be used. See voiced alveolar tapped fricative, voiceless alveolar tapped fricative. <laughs> Notes <laughs>